The Nautilus is not just a ship. It's National Geographic Explore and Residence Bob Ballard's dream machine come to life. A high-tech platform for undersea exploration. And this summer in the waters off Turkey, Ballard and his team used the Nautilus to find a lot of stuff. We had one of our most successful legs, certainly of the Nautilus's history. Both in the Black Sea and the Mediterranean, over the last few weeks we've found uh, 21 shipwrecks, 19 ancient shipwrecks, some of them dating back to the 4th century BC. On the Nautilus, Bob can stay in the control room, watching high-definition monitors, while two remote-operated vehicles explore the sea floor, sending live pictures to the surface from 12,000 feet below. If you used to go down oh, yeah, with your own eyeballs Absolutely. and look through the little porthole little in the window, peak holes, right. little peek holes and see, ooh, I think there's something in this murky yeah. water. Now, right behind where we are standing, there is a yellow thing that says Hercules. Yep. And that's, that's the underwater our vehicle. our ROV connected to its uh, companion, Argus. And with these two vehicles, we're able to go down and light up the underwater world, actually have manipulators and pick up things. And that's a pretty slick vehicle system uh, that we're uh, using all through the four-month expedition we're on right now. And there's these huge lights yeah, on it. 3,000 watts of light. Because it's beca very dark no, at 6,000 feet. No, it's beyond very. It is pitch black dark. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing down there. I mean, it's dark. And so we need to bring our own lights. So we have this big lamp post called Argus that shines this great amount of light, and then we work under that lamp post. The two ROVs, Argos and Hercules, are each equipped with multiple high-definition cameras to record the discoveries in vivid detail. And one artifact which seems to be getting the most screen time is the amphora, a clay jar used for storage on ancient ships. I've seen some pictures that Bob's team has taken of piles and piles of amphora, clay jars that Thousands carried of fluids, right, right. primarily wine. Wine, uh, olive oil, they had a, 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 a sauce they called garum that was sort of their salsa, and they stored those. We've, they commonly will butcher fish and put in them. We found ones with fish bones that were filleted. Uh, we've certainly found ones that had honey. So they were the 55-gallon drum of the, of the ancient world. It seems the ancient potters who made the jars were style conscious, changing the shape and design every few years. And those differences helped Bob and his team put an accurate date on the shipwrecks they're discovering, allowing the amphora experts to say, oh, that's a 400 BC model or a 1200 AD model. You talked about the ship, wanted it, and now here it is doing the work you said it would do. Yeah. It is a workhorse of exploration. It is, and I published an, a piece of artwork in National Geographic magazine, December issue 1981, which was this. Think about it, 1981. Someday I want to have this, and it took, what is that, 30-some years. And now you got it. I got it. And thanks for giving us a little tour and uh, giving us a hint of some of what you are finding. And more to come. NautilusLive.org. NautilusLive.org. Thanks, Bob. Tune into my radio show, National Geographic Weekend, this week to hear the full interview with Bob Ballard.